welcome to my guide on how to change the blow resistance on a Ford Fiesta 2014. Uh, the same procedure goes for the other Ford models and also for Fiestas before and after 2014. Um, what I did was when I turned the blower to step 1, step 2 and step 3, nothing happened. But when I put it up into 4, there was full power on the blower. Um, I sorted out that uh, this could mean that the blower resistance itself was uh, not working. If uh, this was caused by a defect fuse, none of the steps would be working. Uh, but since step 4 worked, there was uh, the fuse was okay and uh, the problem has to be somewhere else. Um, so what I had to do was to locate the blower resistance itself and get a change. Um, it'll cost you about, I don't know, maybe $12 or so in materials and it's easy to do and it takes only a couple of minutes so it should be easy if you follow this guide. What you need is a Phillips screwdriver, a new blow resistance and a Torx 20 to replace the blow resistance itself. This is the blow resistance, this is what it looks like, it may be a little different from model to model. The Phillips screwdriver and of course the Torx. Um, and what you need to do is to locate the little screws in the side and to remove them. They are made of plastic so you have to be a little gentle while unscrewing, unplugging the screws. Um, here we go. When the screws is loose, you can slightly pop it out and I'll show you just like this. Put your hands behind the plastic cover and just wiggle it a little and it will come off quite easy. Um, when you've done so, you can with the finger remove the screw totally, just like this, and remove the little plug which sits on top of the screw, like so. And gently just remove the lid and this might be a little different from car make or model to model and nearly got the cover off and what I'm going to show you is that the the cover itself is fastened with some little clips which goes in some holes you see one and another one like that um, you just remove the lid itself, here you see the clips um, and then it's time to locate the old blow resistance, you see it right in here and um, there it is it's the little white fella you see right there, so you just remove the power plug just gently like so um, and now you can take your Torx 20 and remove the screws. Now the old blow resistance, um, the screws has been unplugged, so now it's just to remove the old one and to replace it with the brand new one and it's like I said before about 12 bucks, you can uh, get it in almost every outer part store uh, and then you just have to re-plug the power make sure it's nice and firm and what you have to do now is to test if the new blow resistance fixed the problem put it uh, through all the steps step one and there should be a little air step two a little more step three and of course step four and full power now we have made sure that the new blow resistance did the job and that uh, everything works now so what we have to do is to reinsert the new blow resistance and to refasten the two Torx screws. Now the Torx screws has been refastened and all we need to do is to put in the plastic cover. Um, make sure that the little clips which I showed earlier fits into the holes. It can be a little tricky to get everything to fit but it should be done in like a couple of minutes or so. Now 
all I have to do is to reinsert the little plastic screw which holds the plastic cover. Um, just put it in uh, the little insert and then the screw, plug it in and re refasten it with the Phillips screwdriver and then you should be good to go and everything should be working. Um, I do apologize for my bad English as it is not my native language um, but I think the guide should get you through all the steps nice and easy. You are welcome to post your comments on this video and I'll get back to you. Also remember to get rid of old electronics properly and uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this guide is helpful to you and uh, feel free to share it with your friends. Take care.